So the media market is going through a major transformation right now. And so far, whatever the media guys did with the traditional technologies, it worked well for now, but as the resolution formats are going up to 4K and 8K and Ultra HD, the existing technologies are not being sufficient. So all the customers are looking at transitioning to IP so that they can really serve the customer needs. As you see, we have a IP fabric that's built using Cisco's Nexus 9000 switches. And we also have a very rich set of ecosystem partners like Raspelli, Imagine, Lavo, Ewerts, Sony, Ross, Nevion, Pebble Beach, and Tektronix. So Tektronix is providing timing to the Nexus switches and using the boundary clock functionality of the Nexus switches, we are timing all of our partner equipment. And what we here have here is a Cisco fabric built using the Nexus 9000 series switches that's carrying uncompressed 2110 streams that's generated by our partner equipment. Now these streams traverse our fabric. As an example, what you see here is a 2110 stream received by the Lava multi-viewer, and here you see all these picks show up. Now it is very important, you know, as we make this move from STI to YP, to ensure that the operators operating this equipment, they somehow are hidden from any kind of complexity arises with IP. And in order to make the solution extremely simple to consume, what we've done is we've worked very closely with our partners. As an example, when I make this switch, so I'm going to move this pip here, who's currently receiving video one, I'm going to switch that to video two. See, it's switched. Now, this is the same kind of interaction a broadcast engineer or an operator would have in their facility, but everything here is happening in IP. It's very, very important to ensure that once you have this fabric carrying all these flows, you have enough tools for the network engineer to, and the broadcast operator to find out how these flows are traversing the IP infrastructure. Because it's not just about carrying IP, but also you, know, you need to provide a solution using which they can quickly react to any problems. And we've done that using Cisco's DCNM. So using Cisco's DCNM, everything that's happening on the fabric the entire state is streamed to DCNM, and DCNM creates a map of all the flows as it traverses the fabric. As an example, I pick an endpoint, for example, this uh, Lavo multi-viewer. I click on it. It tells me all the flow this multi-viewer is transmitting. Now I can pick and choose any flow to determine the exact path that flow takes in the fabric. As an example, so I clicked on a certain flow. This is a 2110 radio flow, and you see the path it takes as it traverses the fabric. Now again, if you had to troubleshoot any issue, you get full visibility. So there's a misconception in the industry when they say that, hey, when I had an STI router, I knew where my ins are and where my outs are, and moving to IP, I lose complete visibility to what's going on, and everything is a black box. But with Cisco solution, you get all the visibility using this Cisco's DCNM. So we're proving to the industry that not only we have a flexible solution to carry your flows, but we have next generation visibility and analytics to be able to quickly determine what's going on within the fabric. So over here, we're showing another innovation uh, that's made possible by Cisco's CloudScale ASIC. Now the CloudScale ASIC that powers the Nexus 9000 platform has the ability to parse 128 bytes of every single packet. And not only that, using its flow table, it can cache every single packet of every single flow as it traverses the switch. Now, we've used this feature of this ASIC to basically cache every single RTP flow. So this could be a 2110 uncompressed flow or any other you know, compressed flow as it traverses the fabric. You learn about the source IP, the destination IP, the source and destination port, including the packet found and the RTP sequence number. Now let's say for some reason that there was an event in the network, it could be a local event or a remote event that has caused some packet loss. Now in, in an ordinary network, it, is, it would take you hours and hours to even find out, you know, was the fault caused because of an issue that happened within the network or the, the stream itself, you know, that's potentially coming from a different network was compromised. 
Now using this feature, the ASIC tells you if any packets within the RTP streams were dropped. And again, uh, this innovation is made possible by uh, the flow table and analytics that we've added to our ASICs. And it is the same ASICs that powers Cisco's IP fabric for media. With Nexus 9000 hardware, coupled with DCNM software, and a very strong ecosystem partners, we have a great solution to, to take the customers on this migration path to IP from their traditional infrastructures. So we give not only the switch hardware, but you know we have a holistic solution that covers security, that covers visibility and analytics, that covers high availability, and we have everything packaged together in a very, a, a very nice package and ready to go implementation. 